So I've seen some people in the comments talking about Pastor Bless and Pastor Nathaniel Bassi forgiving the culprits who actually defame their character, who is trying to scatter their home, who is trying to tarnish their image, who is trying to scatter their career, and who is trying to make that boy grow up to see certain uh, demeaning things about his parents and himself. Okay, take a look at, take a look at one of them, what he had to say. It's for those people that will come to my comment section and will come comment that Messi Chimo and Latara Bessie is looking for me. I have two words for you. My brother, the way you take a comment on my post, say Messi Chimo they find for me. If not the same energy you put for your life, you for not become a successful person. If not the same energy you take tackle your family problem, you for not become a successful person. So who told you I've not seen the post? Why must you come on my comment section and tell me Messi Chimo and Latara Bessie are looking for me? Did I say anything back? Did I lay an allegation against them? Did I say that Tatiana Bass committed adultery? Did I say that Mr. Chiwo committed adultery? Oga, before you come on my comment session, go and study your constitution and law. I never laid an allegation on Mr. Chiwo and tell Mr. Chiwo that she committed adultery or Tatiana committed adultery. What I said was, let them do DNA. If DNA is cheap, every family could have been doing DNA once they're born. Let's tell ourselves the truth and let's call a spade a spade. No form of remorse whatsoever. Forget about the oh, sorry for anybody that da, 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 for me that he apologized. My dear, that guy you are seeing is unapolog unapologetic. He is not sorry. He doesn't care. He is bent on whatever he's saying. Which one is saying I did not accuse anybody of sleeping with this? I did not accuse anybody of doing with that. You did. You did. What was your statement insinuating categorically that Nathaniel Bassi is the one that owns Mr. Chinwo's uh, son? How do they man How do they uh, produce children? How do people produce children? Is it not when you have sex, you produce children? So which one is you are telling them that their son is Nathaniel Bassi's son and you're saying you did not say such? Omo, show that thing. And then how about this one? Yeah, so, it be like say for Nigeria now, eh? Because of uh, anybody where just get money, they misbehave. It be like say, when I don't know the meaning of opinion. I have my opinion about some, this. My opinion not be lie. And my opinion not be crime. I I not support people coming out to overstress some kind of things like oh, go and do DNA tests and go and do all those things. But you see this speaking. That child actually looks like Nathan Ebasi when you compare the picture. Me seeing that and talking about it not be crime. More than 200 million Nigerians can see that that picture. Not be me release the picture. Now who born picking release the picture? Then I see that the picking resemble Nathan, Nathan Ebasi. Then you expect me to apologize to you. Well, I don't know the meaning of opinion. Am I okay? Now they, 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 they talk, talk turn a blind eye. I know they turn blind eye to uh, there's my opinion does not suggest that there's a crime or anything. The picking resemble not an embassy. Now wow, then you got to apologize for that. <laughs> People like this are the ones also uh, also feeling like you can say whatever you like, and then when it starts, when you get into problem, you want to twist it and start saying all the nonsense as if you know the law. Some of you are unforgivable. To me, make you not forgive any of them. Make you know, for, somebody has to be used as a scapegoat. If you think you're running, you're not in Nigeria, or you can't be found. One day you go do the one when they will find you and they go catch you. And it might probably be this particular one. 